Hi, my name is Jim Pick. I'm a freelance web developer located in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. In this short screencast, I'm going to demonstrate how you can access the information stored within a Google Docs spreadsheet using Google's GData HTTP REST API. Google has a number of APIs which are documented on code.google.com. Here is the documentation page for their Google Spreadsheets API. For the source data of this demonstration, I'm going to use a real-world Google Docs spreadsheet that is of interest to me. This Monday, Darren Barefoot, a prominent local Vancouver blogger, announced on Twitter, let's assemble a database of Vancouver tech scene people on Twitter. So everybody who read this message uh, came to this web form and they entered in uh, their Twitter URL. Uh, their name, their company, which was optional, and their website. When they click the submit button, their information was added to this spreadsheet. Within one day, more than 180 people had filled this information in. Anybody can access this URL and get the Google spreadsheet with the information. But what if you want to build a web mashup application with this information? You could export the information, but then you would just have a snapshot of information. If any new people came along to fill out the form, you wouldn't have their info. So here's how you do it. I published a short little how-to on this GitHub gist here. Google has a developer tool called the OAuth Playground which enables developers to test drive their HTTP REST APIs without having to write any code. You can test APIs which require OAuth authorization, which would be impossible to do with a simple command line tool such as curl. So let's try this out. The first step is to choose your scope. We'll choose spreadsheets because that's the API we want to use. Now we start what is called the OAuth dance. Scroll down here, you see for step two, you can modify the OAuth parameters. Fortunately, we don't have to do that. Step three is to get a request token. And you just click this button here, and if you look up here, you can see the, the, the request and the response. You don't have to worry about this as the OAuth playground will take care of handling the tokens for you. If you were to if you were using a code library to do this, so your code library would take care of this for you. Um, the next step is to authorize the request token. So you click on this authorize button, and it bounces the user to the, this Google page with the access request. So this is what OAuth is all about. Uh, here you can see uh, it's asking if you want to grant this application access to your Google Docs. Uh, you can see I'm logged into Google already, and I'm going to grant access to this application. So you scroll down, you can see the, the request talk token has been authorized. Now we want to get an access token. Access token is what gets you in the door. So we click there, and we have a token. So now we have full access to the API. So step six is where we actually use the API. So it says enter a Google Data API feed. So uh, I have in this uh, gist here an example of a query. And I'll cut and paste the query quickly. Cut and paste it here. And then I will demo now explain what this query does. So if I go back to the spreadsheet, you can see the spreadsheet has a key. And that key is included in the query right here. And then uh, there's some additional things. And what the final I'm extracting, this query is to get a cell out of the spreadsheet, row seven, column three. So I go back to the spreadsheet, row seven, column three is Darren Barefoot. So what this query is trying to do is get the contents of the cell, which are Darren Barefoot. So uh, when I click execute, it will execute the query. And you can see right here in, con in the content element, uh, it, retrieved the, it retrieved Darren's name. 
So that's all there is to it, the API reference guide over here. Uh, has a full set of API calls you can execute to do all sorts of interesting things with the data. I hope you enjoyed this short demo. If you'd like to talk more about RESTful APIs or building mashups, feel free to contact me. I'm at Jim Pick on Twitter.